this region, again, the Navy video comparatively to what's going on with these other videos, the evidence coming in. Again, what I like about it is that it's happening in broad daylight and you really can't see any kind of strings or prop propellers or whatever is the propulsion behind these things. And if it's not helium, then what is it? That's the big question. They seem metallic in nature and pretty steady in the sky. It's not really undulating against the wind. I see it rotating, but it's very stationary in the sky as we look at it. It's rotating here. but. Again, the side-by-side -side comparisons, this one's lock solid in a really nice uh, trajectory form. And then again, as our Navy pilots have been capturing it, it has the same flight characteristics, if you ask me. So is uh, South America, Mexico, Peru having uh, this phenomenon in that area due to the fact that maybe they're equivalent of our Air Force or Navy pilots they really don't have the technology to engage them in this region. Maybe that's why we're seeing them over there more and more, just due, due to the fact that there's really no um, threat by our own uh, technology, our own jet fighters. Brett, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, definitely the limitations in those countries really don't match up to our capabilities. We're the United States and their uh, armed forces are a little lacking let's just say that they don't compete with what we can in trying to engage or capture ufos on data or radar uh they kind of seem to be a little laid back in that technology sure they have it but what i like is that the people on the ground are actually capturing these images and uh the hispanic and south american region accept ufos uh, on their media, social media, and they really want to get it out. Even the government speaks about it. But our United States, uh, our government wants to keep it on the down low. Yeah, and when it comes to uh, public submissions, that's a no-brainer. They just want to show military videos. And I got a feeling they need to wake up. And the Earth, and especially our country, needs to wake up. And that's what it's all about. We're glad you're joining us. Take a look at this new video. All right, are you kidding me? A palm tree hovering in midair. I know they're supposed to be on the ground, but what the heck is going on? This is one of the most bizarre UFO videos that I've seen in a long time. You could clearly see this palm tree shaped craft is behind the power lines. And I gotta say, it's quite large. And it is creepy to say the least. A black ominous um, figure up there. Some people might say humanoid with some weird wings on it. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I'm glad that we're sharing it with you right now. I, I'm going to have to say this is Bizarria. I might even put that in the title tonight because it looks exactly like palm trees, as you would see on the ground, but it doesn't make sense. We're seeing it in the sky. Is this some kind of glitch? Some people might say it's a glitch in the matrix. Brent, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, this is weird, man. It's creepy. We're looking at this thing just uh, kind of just hover above those power lines, and it just seems to move with kind of a, its own force. It's just undulating right there, and you don't see the thing really morph. It, it's rather static. Could this be CGI? Uh, I like the camera work. It seems like it's moving correctly. We only have a, a little clip. This was submitted today on Instagram to us and uh, that's a little problem right there but again it looks a uh, real to me it looks like it was captured in-house and if it is this thing's uh, pretty creepy looking at these palm trees comparing it to this in the sky it, it matches absolutely and I like the way it's very stationary as it rises but the characteristics of the craft it seems pretty stable and I, I see a little bird fly by so I could estimate that this thing to be possibly maybe 
15 to maybe 20 to 25 feet in length. Incredible stuff. And I know the world is watching and you're joining us tonight from around the world. You want to see the UFO videos? We got more for you. So take a look at these incredible ring cam footage of two UFOs moving at very fast speeds. I'm just looking at it in real time. We get a lot of videos and it's hard to, uh, you know, go over them and have uh, any words to say to what we're looking at because again more evidence these two dart by super quick let's watch it again real time let's slow it down i don't see any strobing or faa lights on it i don't see any wings they almost resemble tic tacs here's the other shot from another angle of one object with the flight characteristics that equal these right here look at this Brent, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I like the way these uh, cylindrical objects are illuminating the bottom ground. You can see the trees highlighted, and as these pass by, whatever it is, it's it's projecting light, and that's interesting. Could it be just overblown light from the rain cam itself, and it's kind of a pushing so much light out of it that we can't see what the structure is? But this is weird. They travel in formation. They're really low to the ground. And if this is helicopters going over a neighborhood, that'd be way too low. What are we looking at? This is incredible stuff. I like the ring camp footage when they do come in. And uh, if you got anything cool that looks like this, send it our way. Absolutely. And again, I'd rule out helicopters because I'm not seeing any uh, strobes of FAA lights whatsoever. And I know everybody's kind of stuck in a jam sometimes and they have to deal with work and getting the information about UFOs is tough out there. And that's what we're here for. We're trying to get them out to you either in the morning or at night. And again, we've got more videos. So thanks for joining us. Let's roll it. Take a look at this. look at this again a strange light appears out of this funnel cloud and then immediately just kind of evaporates watch this as we watch it closer boom is this some kind of celestial event some space junk again it's interesting or could it be a craft that is moving at extreme rates of speeds we're going to back it up there it is uh, kind of hidden and then forward it and then pretty much dissipates pretty quickly. It almost looks like a shooting star, but what if it isn't? What if it's something else? Could it be space debris? Sure, space junk, or could it be, you know, a craft with high meta propulsion behind it that we're unaware of? Brent, this is moving at supersonic speeds here. Yeah, Blake, it's not the first time weather phenomenon and UFOs, they kind of go hand in hand. We're looking at something unreal. Could this be a drone? It's way too high up there for it to be a drone reflecting, glinting off the sun. We wouldn't see it. We're seeing something that's pretty large up there. Again, look at the speed. It just shoots out of the funnel cloud and kind of just fades away behind the other end of the, the weather system around there. I like this reverse effect to show that it just comes out of the darker side of the funnel and then proceeds uh, in its own fashion. It, it seems aware of its flight. Absolutely. Good call there, Brent. And I know the world is interested in the phenomenon. And that's what we're here for. We're bringing it to you. As you're seeing tonight, it comes in rapid fire. So we just never know when we're going to be posting these UFO videos on third phase of moon, because we're on the front line. We, we want to get it out as fast as possible. So here's another one for you guys coming out of Russia. What's going on here? Так, чтобы вы понимали, вот я сижу в машине, вот она эта штука.
как будто птицы какие-то, ну как будто светящиеся что-то, вот много всяких вот каких-то элементов. Вот они объединились в кучу. Swell this once again, guys, and as we're looking at it in this live premiere, I'm kind of scratching my head. What's going on? Uh, this man's pulled off on the side of the road. It's probably freezing, and he notices something in the sky of what looks to be something biological in nature, no doubt about it. We see a kind of a cluster, a thick cluster of UFOs just kind of hanging there, and off in the distance, you see glimpses of light sporadically uh, throughout it. Right behind it, look there, it almost seems that they're merging. This is bizarre stuff, Brett. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I'm rolling out. Uh, this is CGI. Definitely, this is in-house, in real-time camera work. What he's capturing is a big question. I like the cluster of lights, and they're illuminated. We see the bottom portion on the ground that something's highlighting whatever this is. But what's the question? Was there a landing on the other side of the hill there or something? It's super strange, and these lights are doing things that are unconventional. They're just moving slowly and in a cluster and seem to merge together. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, I'm just wondering, Brett, could it be uh, maybe a flock of insects, birds? I'm not exactly sure. It dissipates at the end, but right here, a very clear shot. So I appreciate you guys joining us across the United States and across the world. On a daily basis, as the UFO footage comes in, we're gonna share it to you. We're not gonna slow down. We're gonna give it to you as fast as we receive it. So thanks everybody for joining us. I appreciate everybody in the live chat. You guys be safe, take care. Blake Cousins, thanks Brent. We'll see you next time.